everyone, Nikolai here. You probably saw that prosthetic leg that was able to withstand the amputee's weight. I can show it to you right now. So this is the prosthetic point shoe, and this is probably the largest print I've ever made in my life. This prosthetic point shoe was inspired by this aesthetically cool looking design made by Jay Hunan. This blew my mind quite a lot. There's a lot of CAD designing and solid mechanics involved in making a stable prosthetic for the amputee. Thanks to all the university lectures, this helped gain my knowledge in this application. I also don't want to forget the physiology and measurements to match the prosthetic to the amputee's leg on her right side. This is where biomedical engineering plays a huge role in combining physiology and engineering all together. Kudos to Jay Hyun An for allowing me to use this prosthetic design as a great example of what the future of prosthetics will look like. I recommend following him on Instagram and his website in the description below. Out of curiosity, I wanted to use UBC's hydraulic press to check the maximum weight of the 3D printed prosthetic. Here's a time lapse of Jae Hyun An's prosthetic prototype. Interesting how the prosthetic fractured at a 45 degree angle. So why is it hard to balance on a prosthetic? There are two factors, proprioception and center of mass. Now let's take a look at four cases. We have an able-bodied ballet dancer with both her legs. Her center of mass is at her torso level, so her center of gravity gives her an equal force distribution of her balancing on point. We have a second ballet dancer who is a single below knee amputee on her right side. Her center of gravity is slightly on the left side of her torso. The third ballet dancer, who is also a single below knee amputee, on the opposite side has her center of gravity on the right side of her torso. Lastly, we have a ballet dancer where both her legs are amputated below knee. So her center of mass is quite higher compared to a normal able bodied dancer. This is Amy Purdy's case. The higher the center of mass, there is a higher chance for the double below knee amputee falling to the ground. Think of the classic bottle flip back when it was viral. The more water it has, the higher the center of mass. Therefore, there's a greater chance the bottle will tip over. If you noticed, Amy's dancing partner kept holding on to her throughout their dance performance. She needs a dance partner to support her balance while the prosthetics are on point 100% of the time. Overall, her dance is phenomenal. The orientation of the center of gravity is important in prosthetic rehab since the amputee post-surgery is still adjusting to its changed physiology. It requires a lot of training for the amputee to perform simple gaits and sports. As we know, technology is still developing to its potential and someday we'll see people with disabilities to gain accessibility to any genre of dancing. Thanks to the engineers and scientists that are developing this technology, we're gonna make a huge difference in people's lives. This is Nikolai, thanks for watching.